Hey gang, real quick. Um, I had full intention of doing a cold water swim jig video for you today, uh, but the wind was not up enough. But what we did accomplish, a lot of you guys have asked uh, to, for us to do a, a, a blade bait video. So that's exactly what we done did, if you know what I mean, boy. Um, so enjoy this. Uh, so it was a little bit of an audible, but it worked out a little bit. See ya. Water's still really cold. This lake's actually like 39. Whenever you fish in a, a blade bait, throw one, all you want to do is feel the initial vibration of it when you pump it. Can you see me pump that bait right there? I just want to feel it. There's one. Drop it back down. That's what we're doing today for our video. Is a, on a blade bait, here's the deal. You don't want to, gosh, that fish is cold. You don't, what you don't want to do is overfish it, if that makes any sense. When I first started fishing a blade bait, when I first started fishing it, I had a tendency to want to overfish the bait. To rip it and drop it and rip it and drop it. And you'd catch some like that, but the predominant amount of the ones I catch on a blade is I use a medium heavy rod with predominantly 14 pound straight fluorocarbon. And what'll happen is lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. And what'll happen with a blade is you'll go to lift and one's got it. Another thing I learned, and this is hard for me, really hard is the colder the water, <laughs> the more you want to let, let's try one out deep, come uphill. The colder the water, generally, the more you want to let it sit. A lot of people think in their head that when you're fishing a blade, boy, they're here, we're going to knock their lights out, is a lot of people think in their head that a blade bait they bite it on the drop when it's falling. You lift and drop and they got it. But really, what, what I've seen throwing this the last 20 years is a lot of those fish grab it when it's on the bottom because I'll land them and they'll have grass in their gullet, which just tells me that they lifted it off the bottom. But, what I was saying is, you want to throw this absolutely as far as you can get it out there. The farther you can get a blade, generally the more you'll catch on it. You don't want to just throw it 10 feet. And the other thing is, I'll fish it vertical where I'll drop it right over the side, but that's not the main jig with it. There's one. See how I just lifted up and he was, oh, he came off. See how I just lifted up and he was on it? Yeah, and that's how the majority of them, what will happen is you just pull up and he has it. And another thing, if you notice, I didn't, you don't, <laughs> even though I sucked and lost them, is you don't set the hook on them. When, when you come up, and your rod loads up, you've got them. I'm fishing from like 13 to 25. That was where I was trying to get them going with that swim jig, but that swim jig just don't do, it doesn't do that good when it gets this calm. But what's interesting about a blade bait to me is the, the absolute, the size that you could catch on it, 
you're going you can catch 12 to 14 inches but it catches some really big ones really big ones there's one right there hit it when it right when it got to the bottom it was just sitting on the bottom and he bit it See how he got that? The fish isn't even hooked. Right there. Might be a sign we just found it, gang. I'll show you my blade bait box here in a second. And my blade bait box is, it's just a hodgepodge of everything, but the majority of it's homemade. But a silver buddy's good, you know, any, Anything that I say has a real good chatter, grrr, like when I lift that, I want to feel it chatter real hard. There was one right there. Yeah. Don't set the hook, see? Don't set the hook. There's a load right there. Hey, here's the entire setup right here. Is uh, Whenever you throw a blade bait, um, I like them in quarters uh, all the way up to three quarter ounce, but generally around a half ounce is what I throw the most. The biggest key to a blade bait. It does not matter who, what one you buy or use, put on new treble hooks. Um, I use a five and a six regular round bend trocar short shank. I like a short shank for that. Um, but the cool thing is that they make a, a number five and those number fives are actually, that is a really hard size hook uh, to find, but it's a, it's a perfect hook. Um, for a blade bait and uh, 14 pound fluorocarbon medium heavy seven foot rod high speed reel go to work see ya so dig it when I throw that thing out and I let it get to the bottom I'm fishing it just like a worm that's the main thing I could tell you if you fish a blade bait is to just fish it like a worm it's really from three to noon three to noon and the other the other deal about this is don't don't jack one when he bites it when he bites man just start reeling I mean pour the coals to him when he bites I'll, I'll show you here in one second we get one now you see how bare that graph is right there 38 degree water now watch when we get over him again I mean, they are thick is all get out in that wood shed. And all these fish are doing out here, whether it's on this lake or the lake you live on, all they're doing out here is sitting. They've been here for months and they're sitting they're sitting waiting till it warms up where they can get up on these massive flats just keep winding keep winding when you get one keep or yeah look at he's tattooed keep winding that's the whole key look he's a bug eye that one come deep, deep. Gosh, how cool is that, man? That is so cool. There he is right there on the graph going down. See him? Bye bye. Bye bye. I want to tell you something else that I've, I've seriously, like, I've thought about. I'll be a dead serious. Do you think a bass, when you catch him, feels like he was abducted by an alien? Like seriously, could you imagine just hanging out with your buddies at B-dubs, just sitting there killing it, killing some Asian zing, right? And all of a sudden, somebody lifts you, takes a picture of you, <laughs> and then puts you back in your seat. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> That's so awesome. Uh-oh. 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 I got this one side swung. 
you know, you're like sitting there and you got, you know, you, uh, <laughs> and you're just, just punishing 20 traditional wings. And all of a sudden you're like, whoa, 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 but. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, you're right back at the table with your buddies. You're just right there. Look, 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 look. That's them. That's them. That's them. Filthy naughty. Filthy naughty. Filthy naughty. Anyway, that's my thought about fishing. I've always wondered, like straight up, like, if you're a fish, like, what do you think happened? You got grabbed by some, you know burly Italian guy and then there he is oh he came off now we're getting there <laughs> now we're getting there little fiddler elf oh sorry buddy now we're getting there good old chib do is when I'm done I'll go through my whole setup and hey the, here here's one thing I want to show you guys here's one thing I want to show you guys this is what I mean when I say they hit it when it's sitting on the bottom okay here's what I mean by that grass in the back of his gullet nice little chub found him found him it's like yeah, but I found him. Those fish this time of year get that. Those so he's got little black lips, like he's got lipstick on. All those fish this time of year will have those black lips. See y'all next week.